In my runaway star shawl pattern, I use a technique for creating a two color eye of partridge stitch that is similar to the technique for creating single row stripes knitted flat. The explanation is quite wordy in the pattern and I decided it would benefit from a quick tutorial video to provide a visual to accompany the instructions. Normally, the eye of partridge stitch is a slip stitch pattern worked in a single color with a four row pattern repeat. It's often used for the heels of socks. It's easily worked in the round in two colors, but when working it flat with two colors, it requires a bit of maneuvering. Just like with single row stripes worked flat, you have to work on circular or double pointed needles. This is because you have to work two right side rows one after the other. So the stitches have to be worked from right to left on the right side twice. To do this, you work across the stitches with the first color of yarn, then push the stitches back along the needle to work across them again with the second color. You then repeat this process for the wrong side, working two wrong side rows as well. I've set this swatch up like the runaway shawl pattern, so there's a stitch marker dividing the stitches in half. The pattern is mirrored on either side of this marker, and in the fourth row of the stitch pattern, that is, the second wrong side row, all work increases on either side of this marker, just like in the pattern. In the first row, with the blue yarn, this is color A in the pattern, I'm going to slip the first stitch and knit across to the last stitch, which is also slipped. The pattern has a two stitch selvage edge knit in garter where the first stitch of each row is slipped. Since I can't maintain this selvage edge exactly in the eye of partridge stitch pattern, I'm slipping the first and last stitches of the first right side row and the first wrong side row and purling the first two and last two stitches of the second right side row and knitting the first two and last two stitches of the second wrong side row. This sounds more complicated than it actually is in practice. I'll show you what I mean. Now I've finished the first right side row, row one of the stitch pattern. Rather than turn the work, I'm going to slide my stitches back to the other side of the circular needle and work the right side again row two of the stitch pattern. For this second right side row, I'm using the gray yarn. This is color B in the pattern. Purling the first two stitches to create that selvage edge, then slipping one purlwise and knitting one all the way to the marker. When I slip the marker, I'm going to mirror what I just did. So since I finished with a knit one before the marker, I'm going to start with a knit one on the other side of the marker, then slip one, knit one, etc., all the way to the last two stitches, which are purled. Now that I've worked two right side rows, I'm ready to turn it over and work the two wrong side rows, starting with row three of the stitch pattern. Row three is the wrong side version of row one. So with the blue yarn, I'm going to slip this first stitch, then purl all the way to the last stitch, which is slipped. Here again, I slide the stitches back to the other side of the circular needle so that I'm set up to work the wrong side once more. This will be row four of the stitch pattern, and this is also where I'll work the increases.
I purl the first two stitches, then start working in the stitch pattern. For this row, I start with a purl one, then slip one, and continue this to one stitch before the marker. Using a double twist cast on, I make a stitch. Note that all the increases in this section will be made with color B yarn because they are made in row four of this stitch pattern, which is always worked with color B. The next stitch is slipped, then the marker is slipped. I slip a stitch again to maintain the mirror image and make a stitch. Then go back to purling one, slipping one to the last two stitches, which are purled. So there you have the two color eye of partridge stitch worked flat on a circular needle. In the pattern, pay special attention to the pattern of increases which takes shape over two repeats of the four row eye of partridge pattern because it results in your spine stitches on either side of the marker taking on this little rectangle pattern which I think is rather sweet. I hope you found this video helpful. The pattern info as well as the transcript for this video can be found below in the video description. Thanks so much for watching.